pleased to be here this evening with you and to share this with you, um, the second part. I'm not going to do an introduction. We've done that at the beginning of the series. I'm going to get you, I'm going to allow you, Yuval, to take it away right away. Okay. And for us to get um, into this part two, which I'm very excited for. And I'll be in the background and everybody have a good time. Great. Thank you, Kyra. Mm -hmm. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we are in the second session for our exploration of the six healing sounds of Qigong. And last time in the first installment, we explored metal, which is air, and then water. Now, water give rise to wood, the element of wood. It's quite unique to Chinese medicine uh, because in many of the other traditions around the world, different tribals and shamanic traditions and the, the Sufi and the Hebrew and uh, the Hindu, they have only uh, four or five elements uh, and they don't have wood. But in Chinese medicine and in Qigong, there is an element called wood, which is associated with the color green. And it's all about growth, ever expanding growth. It's the energy that makes the trees now. And you can see it in nature now in the spring. Everything has this incredible energy of expanding and expanding and expanding and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. It's ever growing energy. And this is the energy of wood. We can really feel it in the spring. So to work with the energy of wood would align us with the current season. So the world outside of us and the world inside of us will be unified when we do this healing sound, the chanting of the sound for wood. Now the sound is a long S age with the tongue curved towards the upper palate. So you curve your tongue towards the upper palate and you take a breath in through your nose. A long It's different than the sound of metal, which we did last week, which was similar, but it was more of an S sound and not an SH sound. So uh, before we continue, I just want to check with Kyra. On my screen, I see uh, myself in very small image and I see the logo of the course in big image in the front. I wonder if that's what people are seeing, if, if the spotlight is on the logo of the it's course. You. So they can see you. Okay. You're in the main screen. Okay, good. Because I my setting is speaker the check mark is on speaker and what i see you as the large uh image and i see myself as a small image and then you're the large image that's how we're recording they, it they see the large image yes. they see the speaker on the large image but yes. the speaker the speaker does not see the speaker as a large no image. and i'm on speaker view too okay. so we're both matched you can go ahead okay good good i want okay. to make sure that everybody's seeing it correctly okay very good so, we are going to chant the sound for wood now with the movement. Now, let me show you the movement first. We breathe in, and as we breathe in through our nose, we bring our hands up towards the, the skies, the heavens, and we bring our fingers together like that as we go towards the crown chakra, and right above our head, we turn our fingers the inside of our hands towards the ceiling towards the heavens and we breathe out with the sh wood sound and towards the end of the sound of the sh wood sound we bring our hands down together and then we start breathing in through the nose okay now one more very important thing is when we release the sound and we are in this position, we will bend to our left. Now, you may see me in a reverse image. I'm not sure how's the what the camera lens is going to do to my image, but I can tell you I'm bending to my left right now. The bend is to the left, a really nice bend. So you feel the stretch on your right side 
of your chest and torso. Now the reason why we are stretching the right side by bending to the left, we are stretching the right side is because the associated organ of wood is the liver. So we are massaging and energizing and creating a blood flow to the area around the liver and in the liver because we are stretching the right side where the liver is and then when we go when when we uh, go back to the center we are releasing tension and then we stretch again and then we relieving tension and basically what we do is we are giving a massage to our internal organ which is associated with wood and that internal organ is the liver so let's practice now and then I'll bring in the music, the special music that I composed for wood, featuring the classical guitar. So let's just rehearse it. Here we go. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe in through the nose. Now when you do the sound, remember to curve your tongue upward towards the upper palate. And you feel the air hitting your tongue as you breathe out. Okay, so before we actually practice with the music, I'd like to ask if you have any questions, if you need any clarifications, any question about the sound production or about the movement. Everything is clear. Good. So let's do it with the music now. You will not see me. You will see the shared screen where I will share my iTunes with the music of wood. So this is the music of wood. You can hear, you can hear some sounds of actual wood and you can hear the wood breath and you hear the classical guitar. This music was composed specifically to invoke the wood quality, the energy of wood. There's a reason why I chose to feature the classical guitar, the nylon strings guitar. This is based on ancient Chinese manuscripts and ideas. It comes from ancient China. The musical tone, the main vibration, the tonic or the wan, we call it, main vibration of this piece is based on the Chinese uh, manuscripts about how the ancient Chinese created music for the elements. So now we're going to steep ourselves in this music. You may close your eyes and just listen to the music and feel it. And then we will start breathing and sounding the healing breath of with the now we breathe in, now breathe in with your hands going up and breathe out bending to your left and then you go back to center and you breathe back in Good. Now breathe in and breathe out. Remember to bend to your left as you breathe out. Again, breathe in and breathe out.
practicing in your own pace and with your own length of breath. Slowly lengthen your breath, gradually. And you can keep your mind busy by telling your mind to smile to your liver. Smile to your liver. to the area of your body that you feel stretching on your right side. Last time. Good. Very good. I'm going to fade down the music and stop sharing the screen and Let's see, how do we feel? How do we feel? Observe your body and your mind. What do you feel now? I feel warmth on my right side. And a little cold on the left side. I can feel the difference between my right side of my torso, where my liver is. It's warm. It's pleasant. There's a soothing, comforting feeling in my right side. And I feel good, but I feel a little bit unbalanced. As if I was breathing just with one lung. As if. Well, we're going to do the second half of our body right next with the next element, which is fire, which is exactly a mirror image of what we've been doing. So this is really half of the dual pair of wood and fire. So let me ask you, how do you feel? Anybody would like to share how do they feel in their body and mind right now after doing this work for a few minutes?
We do have some feedback and there's a question as well as some feedback. So the question is, why do you not uh, alternate sides? Okay, that's a good question. We will alternate sides. We are about to alternate, but we don't do it right away because uh, the tradition of the six healing sounds of Qigong, the tradition is to work on one element at a time to uh, give it the enough massage and blood flow and energy flow and sound work and then going to the next. Um, uh, you can see it in yoga. Sometimes in yoga you work for five minutes on one side of the body. Sometimes you work in yoga for 20 minutes on one side of the body and then you switch to the other side of the body. This participant said they found themselves really wanting to balance. That's why yeah, that came yeah, to yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are we are breaking it now for. This is a sampling, but uh, you can do it in any way that feel right to you later on. Any other sharing? Anybody would like to share how they felt during the work, during practicing the wood healing sound. Okay, so I'd like to encourage you to share because each time somebody shares, it opens a window for more learning. We all can learn from any sharing. We can learn a lot from a sharing such as, I didn't feel anything, or I really didn't like it, this, uh, or I have a hard time focusing, my mind is busy with thoughts and images, this kind of feedback, which some may consider a negative feedback, I like to have these kind of feedbacks because I find them constructive. These are very, very important feedbacks that I get when I teach these retreats, when I teach all over the world in-person retreats, which I've been doing for many years in places like Esalen Institute and 1440 and the Open Center in New York. and numerous places around the world. In the sharing, there's always somebody who shares something that opens the door to a deeper layer of understanding. So anything that comes to your mind that you would like to share would be valuable for our group. Um, I see in the chat there's a feedback. Let me see. Um, there's a feedback. I enjoyed releasing tension on my right side. I needed this just now. Thank you. So th thank you, Linda, for sharing. Um, so let's move on to the next element. And now we're going to balance the wood with fire. Now the wood, what we just did, the wood, the wood element is associated with the liver. Now out of wood, which is associated with spring and the color green, out of wood arises fire. Wood is needed and is essential for fire. Now we are in the fire element, which is the color that is associated is red and the season is summer. Fire has to do with the heart, is associated with the organ of the heart, the, the pump, not necessarily the poetic idea of love and the poetic ideas of the heart, not with the heart chakra, which is in the center, but rather the, the actual organ called heart, which is the main pump that we have in our body, pumping blood. Okay, so uh, that, that's not to say that associating the heart with the heart chakra and with romantic ideas of courage and love, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's not necessarily the focus of this work right now. So we are going to give a massage to our heart. How are we going to do it? By doing exactly the opposite than what we did with the liver. We will go up, breathing in, and we're going to bend to our right side. And by bending to our right side with our hands straight up interwoven like this, facing the inside of the palms, facing up 
to the ceiling and bending to the right, we are stretching our left side where our heart is. And then we go back and we're going to massage our internal organ, in specific the heart and the left side of the torso. Now the sound of fire, the healing sound of Qigong, is a wide ah. Ah. It's a little bit like the dragon or lion breath that we, you, we do in yoga, like but we don't do quite that in this practice of the six healing sounds, but there's the intensity of the dragon or the lion, the intensity of that breath in that release of is a big open ah, and it's quite fiery, it's intense, it's warm. Now, the direction is upward, so we breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. Good. Slowly, slowly, as we practice it with the music, please lengthen your breath with ease, not with tension. But try to lengthen your breath just as long as it's comfortable for you. You may get a little lighthearted if you breathe too much too much oxygen out. If you start feeling hyperventilated and a little bit dizzy, then tone your breath a little lower. The exhale, lower the intensity. Go into a lighter breathe, exhale, lighter exhale, like <sighs> with ease. Just release. <sighs> Without the intensity of which is very fiery. You can play with it. It depends on where you are in your body and mind at this very moment. It depends on the space that you are. It depends on, on you. So you are the judge and you are the healer and you are the coach and you are the manager and you are the director. You are the doctor of your own body and mind. You are the best seer of where you are. So just listen to your body. Be 100% here and now and observe your feeling and observe your sensation in your body and adjust your breath length, adjust the intensity of your exhale to fit to where you are. Okay, now let's plug in the music. And I'll tell you a little bit about the music. Now we are featuring the Chinese bamboo flute. It's a big, dark wood bamboo flute called Shou. It has a beautiful sound. And that breath that is going through the flute is representing the fire. Let me... Uh, ask you before we start practicing with the music is there any question about the movement or about the sound anybody needs clarifications to make sure you're doing it right no everything is clear it's really really yes there's a question thank you uh, can we stand yes it's very good to do that standing either standing or sitting if you're sitting sit on the edge of your chair close to the edge of your chair not extremely on the edge of the chair but just towards the edge of the chair if you sit you can do it in bed you can do it standing perfectly good uh, thank you for the question okay let's bring in the music of fire and remind me after that to tell you an interesting story about a patient in the doctor's office with this very music okay here we go, and here is the music of fire. We hear some fire crackling. 
and we could hear the fire breath and soon we're going to hear the flute so just just soothe yourself into this warm sound this music of fire just sail into it just ease yourself Feel the intensity of the flute. Very different than the guitar that played the wood element. Very different energy. I feel the room is already warmer. The space around me is already warmer and I haven't even started working. But I'm just listening to the sound of the music of fire. So just listen and receive the energy. Now, we're going to start breathing in and bringing our hands up and then we're going to do the sound on the exhale. Here we go. Bending to your right. Again, let's breathe in. Keep breathing, keep moving, keep working with the sound.
and smile to your heart. Send a smile to your heart on the left side of you. Keep smiling to your heart. Keep smiling to your heart in your mind. Send smiles through your mind as you keep breathing and sounding the sound of fire. One more. Very good, very good. Slowly go back to your, your normal, normal breath as I fade down the music and I'll stop sharing. And I'd like to invite you to share anything that you experience or you are experiencing right now. I can, I'd like to share with you that I feel warmth in my left side of the torso, I feel nicer than before. I feel more balanced. And I feel really nice and warm in my left side of my torso. And I feel more erect. I feel my upper body, I feel like I'm, it seems like I'm a little taller than I was before. And I just have a nice flow, a sense of flow in my torso and the sides of my body. Very nice flow. Any uh, any sharing? Good sensation, unpleasant sensation, any experience at all would be valuable for the group. We would learn a deeper layer of what we are trying to learn if you share what you experience. You would be contributing to the well-being of everybody in the group if you share. Let me see, there's somebody in the chat. At first, it created tension on the left side, but as I continued, it became warm and relaxed. Thank you, Linda, for sharing. Yeah, it's like in yoga. You know, in the beginning, you may be cold, and then as you work, it opens up, the space opens up, and you did it just right. You didn't injure yourself. You just slowly continued working and it opened up and got warmed and relaxed so that's wonderful it's good to hear thank you okay so let's talk about when to use these healing breath of wood and fire now wood is associated with growth so if you want to work on growing and yourself like a tree in the spring if you want to encourage this spring energy of growth and becoming greener and greener and having more and more leaves and fruits if that if that's your goal or what you need if you feel that that's what you need right now that would be a good practice to do the wood healing sound and the movement now also wood is important for lowering stress and for sleep so Wood and water are the most calming, the most relaxing elements. So if you'd like to sleep better or if you'd like to improve your creative flow, um, if you'd like to reduce anxiety, like the, you may have a day, one day, that you feel a lot of anxiety or even a little bit of anxiety or fear or tension. That is when you are about to experience stress. You're cultivating stress, and that's bad. This is really bad for our immune system. So when you just feel a little bit of anxiety or fear creeping in, that would be a wonderful practice to do. Wood and water. Now, um, if you want to improve your sleep, do wood and water before you go to sleep. 
Now, fire is associated with courage. Uh, fire, the fire energy, is associated with uh, sincerity, enthusiasm, uh, courage to do things in the world. So, um, in some of the traditions in the East, also fire is associated with mind vision. Meaning, fire is not the energy of mind vision, but it feeds vision. So, vision in this teaching, vision is dependent on fire. Meaning, if you don't have fire energy, if your fire energy is low, you're bound to not have much visions for yourself, or for your community, for your family, for your country, for the world. So, to cultivate vision, ideas, visions for yourself, for the world, for your school, for your family, for your neighborhood. Cultivating fire energy is very important in order to lead, to be able to receive vision. So this is all has to do with the fire element. And of course, it's heating up, it's warm. Uh, if you, if you uh, experience a lot of uh, sensation of coldness in your body, your body is cold, your fingers are cold, your feet are cold. It would be good to do all the elements for that. If, if your extremities are cold, you know, like your, fingers, your fingers and your toes, you really need all the six healing sounds. But just general cold feeling inside, um, practice the fire healing breath and the sound. Now, I wanted to share with you uh, an anecdote, a story from one of the doctors that is using this music, you know, from this album, The Six Healing Sounds. So The Six Healing Sounds on the whole box set, there's a box set of seven, seven albums, each, uh, six albums plus this. So there's a whole album for wood, a whole album for fire. The, these are the long versions. And acupuncturists using it and have been using this box set that I created for them for the last seven or eight years. It's been all over the world. And the way the doctors use it, they, they use it to enforce, to invoke the qualities of the elements that they try to invoke with the needles, with the pressure points. So that is one approach, meaning if, and it's, it, it's not that simple, it's quite complicated from what I hear from the doctors. It's very, very complicated. You may know about Chinese medicine. Uh, it's not simply just give the patient more fire it's there's a lot of, because fire depends on wood and wood depends on water and does it, it's very very complicated but i'm going to just simplify it right now for the sake of discussion imagine you go to the doctor and you complain about let's say uh you, you've got eczema on your hand and the doctor check your pulse look at your tongue and then ask you to lay down on on the bed, on the table, and they put some needles in your toes and in your ear and on top of your head and then in your thigh. And you lay there, there nailed, you nailed down with, with the needles and you're thinking to, me, to yourself in the first visit, you think to yourself, what's going on? I, I have eczema on my hand. Why do I get a needle in my ear? <laughs> what, what's the connection? Well, the doctor is really not interested in curing your eczema so much. He's interested in balancing your, the root cause that lead to a chain reaction that ends with dryness on your skin, which invites some eczema, etc., etc. So they are working on the root cause. Okay. So there are two approaches. Uh, the doctors that are using this music, uh, one school of doctors they invoke, they, they go one-to-one, -one, meaning if they want to invoke more fire, they use the fire music in the treatment room. So the, uh, the patient lay there with the needles to, and, and listening to the music. There's another school of healers and doctors that go by the seasons with the music. So no matter what the complaint is and no matter what the root cause they're using the music to attune the patient in the, in the treatment room to the season. 
And this is a really interesting school of acupuncture, which is uh, very much attuned to the seasons. Now you can you can use it in any way. You can go with the seasons, you can go with what you feel and what you need. But I'd like to share with you one interesting story. One doctor wrote to me about a patient that came in. And let me say before that, that for the last seven or eight years, doctors all over the world use this music and, and we've heard only positive feedback. 100% of positive feedback, not even one negative feedback. And then here comes one email that was different. One email in seven years from one doctor. And he wrote that he's been using it for several years with all of his patients and everybody benefited from the music and the way he's using the music. 100% success. But recently he had one patient that needed some support with the fire and energy balancing the fire energy in her body and he put in the needles and he put in the fire music and left the room and within one minute the patient just ran out of the room with the needles in her she just she couldn't stand being in the room she just ran out of the room and and said to the doctor that she that it was a horrible experience for her that she she just had to get out of the room so he went back to the room and stopped the music the fire music that you just practiced with featuring the chinese flute and he started asking her questions about her past and about any traumas that she had in the past that relates to heat or fire and as soon as he said that she said well i almost got killed three years ago when there was a fire and i was caught in the fire my house was on fire and i i almost died but i, I managed to escape at the last minute and something in the music within 60 seconds invoked in her mind uh, she wasn't aware of it at that moment but after they spoke something about that energy created this feeling that she needs to escape she needs to get out of there and that was incredible incredible feedback the only one patient ever that the doctor had to stop the music but to me, it's another testimony about the power of sound. She didn't know that it's the fire element. The doctor didn't tell her, now I will play you the fire music. They, they don't say that. They don't tell the patients if they work on fire or if they work on wood. They don't, they don't say that. So the patients don't know. It's all in the background, in the mind of the doctor. So let's go to questions and answers. If I click on the question answer, I see a question. Fire as fitting vision makes sense to me. It relates to the spark of life, creativity, etc. Thank you for that explanation. Is wood grounding? Thank you for this uh, question. Yes, wood is grounding, but not as much as earth, which we are coming to next week. Next week we will explore uh, out of fire you know, uh, from fire, the earth rises. So earth depends on fire. It's like a, a circle. So we start with metal. Out of metal rises wood, uh, water. Out of water, water rises wood. Out of wood rises fire. Out of fire rises earth. And then there's something called triple warmer, which we're going to explore next week, next Wednesday. It's going to dedic be dedicated to Earth and triple warmer. Uh, any other questions or sharing or comments? Let's see. No. Okay. Um, so there is a color code. Um, I think I didn't mention last week that metal, interestingly enough, metal is associated with the color white. 
metal is air, you know, it's like transparent, like clear, kind of, you, you can represent it with colors. If you need to choose color for clear, for air, the closest color would be white. And that's what the ancient Chinese used for metal or air. Then you go to water, the color is black, interestingly enough. You would think blue, but it's not. It's black. Um, you know, in the deep, deep ocean, in the deep, if you go to deep water, it's completely dark. And that could be the reason why uh, the ancient Chinese chose black for water. And then green is wood, fire is red, and earth, we're going to learn next week, earth is kind of uh, orange, um, earthy tone of sand dunes, and, uh, um, and then triple warmer has no color associated. It's not really an element, triple warmer. So I'd like to leave this for next week. Um, I wonder, Kyra, um, should we conclude now since uh, there, there are no questions or comments? Or um, There are two questions, actually. Yes, please. So um, here's one. What would you prescribe for anxiety of these sounds? A daily practice? Uh, for anxiety, the, the two elements are water and wood would be the best healing sounds to use. And I would use it, you know, whenever you feel that you just starting to get anxious. And I would use it as a preventative, a regular maintenance. I would do in the morning, five or 10 minutes of wood and water. And then in the evening, five minutes or 10 minutes of fire uh, of wood and water. So wood and water, remember the W, wood and water, W sounds, they are the, the, the sister brother relationship, wood and water. I have, uh, I wonder if maybe your story related to the lady not being able to um, sustain uh, in terms of the fire element when it was activated by sound. So in that situation, what would you do? How would you support that person to reduce that anxiety so they could move forward? Yeah, uh, they would need more work with earth to ground themselves first. Some earth and some water to for coming, you know, to just relax the, the and to get over the traumatic uh, there's still traumatic energy mm -hmm. in the mind and body. You know, it was just three years uh, since that traumatic experience. So uh, the fire um, w was too intense. So there's there's a way to do fire energy with less intensity, as I showed before. But I, first I would do grounding, with, as I said, with earth, then a little bit of practice with water, and then trying again with fire, but not doing the full breath of, <sighs> like the lion breath, but less intense, just, just opening the mouth and exhaling out, just <sighs> almost with no energy, but just the sound of ah. <sighs> and then slowly cultivate the intensity once you feel free and ready. Right, that makes sense. Yeah. So another question we have is, is it helpful to visualize the color during practice? Yes, yes, that helps. And what is really recommended by some of the doctors from Taiwan that I worked with uh, is to smile to the associated organ. So the, the associated organ of metal, which was the first element, is uh, the lungs. So with metal, you smile to your lungs. With um, Then you go to water, it's the kidneys. Then you go to uh, what we did today, the wood, you smile to your liver, and then fire, you smile to your heart. It's really good to do that. There's another uh, set of affirmations that I could give you, which is another thing to keep the mind busy with, and it's, it's just adding another... Uh, effort and another layer of wellness and energy of wellness is you could use the following affirmations and I can send it later 
in a file to Kyra and and yes. uh, and I can distribute it. Yeah, but just for now, you could write it down. Uh, today we worked on wood, so the affirmation is to breathe in kindness, generosity, forgiveness, self-expansion, and then breathe out anger, aggression, depression. So you you breathe in positive element ideas and you breathe out you release when you breathe out you release ideas of aggression depression and anger so when i when i do my retreat sometimes when we work for 10 minutes or more on each element i get the, the I, I get the participants to work and they get into it and then i can stop guiding them because they are already doing it and while they do the breathe in and breathe out with the sound i just say the words so as they breathe in i say kindness generosity you know i i just tell them the those words while they breathe in and then when they breathe out i say anger aggression so i help them by giving them those ideas and fire you breathe in joy love happiness honor sincerity creativity enthusiasm and you breathe out impatience arrogance, hastiness, cruelty, violence. So I say to them to do this one at a time. So you breathe in one adjective, you breathe in creativity. You breathe out cruelty. You release. And so, and then you do the next adjective. And you can play with that. You can do one set of adjectives, you know, negative and positive adjectives or ideas, and do 10 minutes just with that. You can choose the ones that you like and attracted to. And you, you invite in an associated affirmation and good energy, positive energy, and you release a negative energy that is associated with that uh, organ and with that breath. So it's, it's, it's complex and there's another layer of affirmations such as with fire, you want to think you are appropriate, you are responsible, you are loving. And with water, you say to yourself, I am generous, I am, you know, whatever. So each one of those elements, there's associated affirmations that you can chant yourself as a mantra while you do this practice, and that increases the impact. So there's, there's four, five, or six layers of this practice, um, and I can send you some more information about it. Um, you can always reach me through Kyra. Send a question to Kyra. Kyra will get um, uh, the answer for you guys. You can email me directly to Yuval at yuvalranmusic.com but it's easy to communicate through Kyra as well so I feel um, we are two-thirds there we, are, yes. we got two-thirds of the six healing sounds and next Wednesday we have two more and the triple warmer is a real mysterious ethereal mm -hmm. you know it's not an element it's something else it's really interesting it's more complex so uh, this is the dessert. We we save the most complex practice for the dessert next the dessert week. for last. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we have another question too. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing your gift. One. Thank you. And would love to receive the other associated feelings and affirmations with fire, water, metal. So please send them to me, and I will distribute sure. them with the recording. I can sure. add them as a link. Sure. Yeah. A link and to. I don't Kyra, I, I'd like to mention to people that uh, this music is available everywhere on iTunes or YouTube or uh, uh, Spotify, Amazon. You can get it uh, and work with that. And um, people who work with patients and um, want to get the whole box set, uh, these are the short versions. These are the 10 minutes versions. And the box set has, has seven albums and they are color coded, uh, they are 45 minutes long each. So people that practice Chinese medicine usually get that box set and they put it on their shelf and they see the color code. They know that 
greenies wood, they know that water is black. And so they don't have even to read. They just know they want water. They grab the black CD. They put it in the CD player and they work. And of course, everything is on digital. Everything is streaming. So you can get it in any, any way that you prefer. Well, thank you very, very much. Uh, you've all for tonight. I thank all the attendees for being with us here tonight and for sharing your experience. And I know um, this information is invaluable and uh, you will all receive the recording as you received for part one. So uh, I look forward to our last installment next Wednesday at the same time. Me too. Okay, my friends, be well. Good evening. Thank you, Kara, for hosting us. Thank you, of course. And, and good evening, and you, everybody. Have yeah. a good night. Good night. Bye-bye.